Uh, so, Luke, uh, the FA Trophy journey has come to an end this afternoon, um, but surely you've got to be proud of the players of the journey they've been on and even the performance today. Yeah, definitely. I think that's um, hard to remember when you when you get beat, but today was one of the strangest games because we didn't start well. Um, we respected them a little bit too much in the style we played. I don't know if that was mentally, but it, it was clear they went straight down the middle. and. Um, you know, it was weird to be 3 0 down so quickly. And then at half time, uh, at the strangest task of convincing the boys that they're well in this game, and I really try and never even tell small lies to the boys because when you do, you get found out. And I think I was trying to use the words um, best I could to say, listen, this is a 3 0, but. After the last 15 minutes, we've created chances, we've missed chances in that first half. You're more than in this game. And because it's the cup and it's so special, it's a quarter final. You give 2% more all over the pitch. And I think that um, I think they'll not crumble, but that you'll realise how um, far you've come as a team. And within the first 20 minutes, we've scored two goals and more than deserved it. And the whole atmosphere changed. Yeah. And, you know... They've got more long ball and they're keeping it in the corners. And I wouldn't say the game fizzled out, but they really defended well. Gates said, I think the, the, the highlights would always show how many times they played through and the, how well they did on the ball. But the, the, they defended ex, extra well for the last 25, 30 minutes. And the, the lads couldn't give an ounce more. They could not give an ounce more. Um, and I just felt like it was coming, but... I know that also they had to defend for the lives on the break, which they did. Um, some fantastic running, tracking, blocking, things that you, you, I'm not surprised about, but it just gave us that chance to be in the game. And, and you know, we gave ev everything we got and the fans uh, appreciated that because that at the end of the day, what football is about, um, if you're a fan, you want to have your players give absolutely everything. And, you know, I can't fault them at all. And I'm really, really proud of them, proud of the football club fans that travelled all this way, um, fans that came to all the other games and, you know, electrified the place after Kidderminster. And it's great to be in a quarter final, the last eight, uh, after I don't know how many teams take part in the competition. So it's a, it, it, it's a disappointing end, but, you know, I can smile and say that the lads did the football club more than proud. I know you said it's a bit of a disappointing end, but do you think you can take some positives away from the fact that you've beaten two National League sides? You've taken a side today who are in the playoff phases of the National League to the very end, were so, so close to getting that equaliser. How many positives can you take from just this whole journey in the trophy and how can you now just use it to really finish the season on a high? Yeah, I think mostly the players have to take the positives and the belief because... You know, this club's never faced Gateshead before. I've I, I've been told that a lot. It's never been a fixture, mm -hmm. which says something in in itself. But then you come here and 15, 20 minutes into the game, you're shell-shocked. But after that, you're back in the game and, you, you know, you'd fancy playing them tomorrow and the next day if that game was a fixture the next couple of days over and over, you'd have a totally different mentality. And that's what breaking down barriers is. That's what new clubs or smaller clubs have to do. They have to build. And sometimes building doesn't always come from winning. It comes from losing a game, but going, you know, the gap's not that big. Mm -hmm. Okay, the stadium's different and, you know, the history might be different, but breaking down barriers is done through hard work. And these boys have showed today that, um, again, that they can play against some really top football players um, within the league above. And, you know, it could have gone either way at the end. Um, how how positive as well is the bounce back ability that we've we've seen to show today? Obviously, going three 0 down, any team will could so easily crumble, like you say, and to come out the second half and get those two quick goals and be so close to that equaliser. How how good is it to have that bounce back ability against a, a side that are higher up in the in the the National League, how good is that to see as well from your point of view? Yeah, it, it's, it's good because they responded at half time. You know, they responded to the words and they responded to the little bits and bobs that we changed. And, you know, it's, it's strange because I don't doubt that these set of players, you know, do stuff like that. They're the 
they've got characters in there that can drive that through. And yeah, they'll fall out and they'll get shouted at and they'll shout at each other. But you know, it's good that it's not um, it's not a team that just capitulates and and goes down. Because at three nil, I came up the tunnel and you know the opposition were mentioning um, you know fill your boots and yeah. go and grab as many as you can. And and you know, I just sense that. Um, uh, what, what, that kind of compla complacency from them, yeah. which we will grab at any opportunity. So, you know, you'll never get a team of mine give up because those sort of players I wouldn't have playing for me. And you've mentioned it already, but just lastly, a word for the fans. 97 um, travelled up um, three and a half hour journey today uh, to come and support the team. How important are they to the club? We know how important they are. And how grateful are you today for them making this trip to support the boys? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. And that, again, is a milestone, you know, taking 97 people three and a half hours away on coaches that, you know, they've earned hard, that they've, they've earned money to pay for and people have spent a lot of money on the whole day. I hope they've had a great, great time. And I just said to the lads there, I said, when that first goal went in, you could see the buzz from not just our bench, the ones who are not playing, but the whole... Um, away support and when the second one went in I will I can't you know I can't tell you that there's no better of a feeling than seeing that I've celebrated but I look to the fans and it's just yeah. chaos and then they, they believe and you know I'm gutted that we couldn't get that third goal from but again they've been fantastic and you know so positive especially recently with us um, we've been here for over a year now and you know there's so many good people at this football club that they don't have to know football because, uh, but they have to. They, they certainly know people and how pe to treat certain people, and I think that that goes a long way. And um, we, it's up to me and Michael to do the football side of it. But outside of that, and you know, with Tim and David and Adam and you know yourself, it, it just helps when everybody's driving in the right direction. And uh, just really, really quickly, I know obviously we've got today on our minds, but looking ahead, we've got Buxton next week, uh, well Tuesday, and then. Coming up here again next Saturday to Darlington. Um, how do we now prepare for just you know focusing on the league and finishing the season in the best way possible? Yeah, no, it's it's an easy task because there's no other distractions and it's always been one at a time. You know, we know the situation. You can say you can go three or four without a win. You can win three or four on the bounce, but it's just one at a time. I think that there's going to be a lot of tired bodies. I think there's going to be a lot of patching up to do yeah. in the next few days. And Billy and you know Daniel Silo is. Um, that, that, that's their job to do that but um, you know we wouldn't have it any other way holding back saving for games in the future I just know that we're proud of everybody at the football club today Thank you very much Luke Cheers